Okay, so here's a quick overview of the current state of the jet engine. So this right here is the main combustion chamber. Uh, here we have the fuel inlet. So it's just uh, runs off um, a gallon tank of propane, a regulator to control the pressure. And then at the top here, uh, it attaches to some pipe hoses, which eventually fits into some hydraulic uh, uh, pipe. Um, just because hydraulic pipe is steel and it'll handle the temperatures better. So this right here screws into the uh, top fuel and like so. Um, this right here is for a, a pressure gauge. So there'll eventually be on there a digital pressure gauge to help regulate the fuel um, with a, a microcontroller. So here we have the high voltage inlet for the spark. Uh, and currently it's just being held together with three bolts for the video, um, so I don't have to unscrew all eight. Uh, this is the air intake. This will be connected up to the compressor uh, on the actual turbine. Um, obviously it won't be this, this long. It'll probably be about down to here and then the rest will be PVC. So if I just uh, go ahead and remove this real quick. It's not yet welded. Although it does fit in there pretty snug. You can see the inner flame tube. So the hose fits in this way, so the air will go in and then spiral around that. Um, there you can see the primary diffusion holes uh, that go into the flame tube. Um, once the uh, air enters the flame tube, meets the fuel and is ignited, the hot exhaust gases will then exit this uh, bottom uh, hole and then will enter the turbine. So up in the top there, you can see the uh, fuel inlet that's in the middle, uh, which I'm just blocking with my finger right there, and then the spark plug right next to it. So if I go ahead and take these bolts out, which is a lot harder to do by hand than, uh, than with two hands. So this section right here just pulls out and there's the flame tube and hole. Uh, up here is the primary diffusion area. This is where most of the air enters to ignite with the fuel. Then you have the uh, secondary zone. This is where some additional air mixes just to uh, combust any gases that are coming through at a higher pressure. And lastly, the uh, tetrary zone, um, which is just a bunch of really big holes to uh, allow excess air in, which cools down the exhaust gases entering the turbine. Uh, as well as relieving any additional pressure in the outer jacket. Um, the tertiary zone doesn't really uh, add much to the combustion process. It's mainly just letting those bypass air uh, flow through. Um, and then this is the inside of the uh, combustion vessel, and you can see that it's, it's pretty thick. So this can easily, easily withstand the pressure I'm going to be throwing at it. So. That's all. Um, hopefully that all made sense. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment.